Hi everyone, it is I, Jumble, and today we're cooking some meatballs. Yeah, so my mum didn't want this mince anymore and it's still good to eat, so I'm going to be making some meatballs. So what you'll need for starters, oh, so I find other things I want to put in. An onion, alright, some onion, breadcrumbs, an egg, and obviously your main ingredient, mince. Now this is 500 grams, it could vary. This is just like a not very unlegit, freaking non-measuring things. So let's go. So first is the onion. Make sure you have a sharp knife. This knife isn't very sharp, but who cares? So I just gotta cut those off. This is my little waste plate. We're gonna cut it. So just like you wanna dice it. This probably isn't the best way to dice an onion. Just pretty much just get lots of pieces of onion. Because onion is like helps giving the mince the flavour. And now that we got that, we can stab into the mince. And uh, that was a bit violent, wasn't it? And get the lovely minced beef out. Get your onion. I might just use half for now, and if I would like to use more, I will use it a bit more later. Just chuck the onion in there like so. And now we're gonna want some breadcrumbs. A nice, generous amount of breadcrumbs. Just don't put more breadcrumbs in the mince because they're not bread balls, are they? No. Now, when does these eggs use by day? 17th of July, that's in over a month. All right, we're good. No, that's in a bit under a month, actually. As right, so we crack the eggs, delicious. Now, we're gonna use one egg for now. If needed, we can add another. So now that we've got that, let me quickly grab the frying pan. On, on the dial, probably gonna wanna put it around uh, three. There we go, three. So we've got the oil here. It is vegetable oil, but use oil to your liking that you like to cook with. I'm not gonna blame you, I'm not gonna judge you. If you want to cook with peanut oil, cook with peanut oil. If you want to cook with sunflower oil, cook with sunflower oil. Vegetable oil, this is vegetable. Or like canola, all those kind of things, it's up to you. We have just about that much oil. Separate around the pan so it's like covering. We can always add more oil if we have to. So, now that we've got that underway. Now it's the bit of the gross part. It's the mixing. So you're just going to get your hands and you just want to mix it all together. Now I think I might have actually added a bit too many breadcrumbs, but that's okay as well because you can always go back and remove a bit. No, actually I think it's alright. I think I might have to add another egg. Yeah, you just want to give it a good mix. Find all the ingredients together. Yeah, I think this could use with one more egg. So we'll grab another egg, crack him in there. Oh, there's a bit of shell, a bit of extra protein. Oh uh, no, let's try to get that out. Oh, yeah. Shell out. Alright, so now we just go around the egg. Oh, that's real squishy now, but yeah, see? Binds together perfectly. And soon comes the boring part, the waiting egg. You're gonna have to cook them in uh, your frying pan and wait. This is like a big, uh, just a big dough ball, pretty much. So what you can do is you can now start rolling them into little balls, like so maybe this size, and then like a champ, you can uh, just chuck it on a plate. And we're gonna make as many as we can with the mixture. And this is for my lunch. I just decided to ask good old cameraman one over here to record, because he happened to arrive just before I started cooking. I reckon I'll, I'll place these ones in now. So, just put them in the oil. Make sure not to touch the oil with your hands or else you're gonna get a nasty, Pain, nasty injury. So, you're gonna get third degree burns if you touch the oil. But yeah, you can obviously make them a lot smaller if you want to. Uh, so this is Australia, where obviously we use knives for everything. Um, thanks to Crocodile Dundee for really popularizing that fact. But we've got the meatballs all nice and cooked now, so they're all nice and delicious. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit. I'm gonna pour in some diced Italian tomatoes. Now there will be a reaction, a very big reaction. I should have turned the heat down. It's because it reacts with the oil. It might be a good idea to drain the oil first. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna grab another tin of diced tomatoes. Good thing is you can find these diced tomatoes pretty much anywhere. Or you can obviously dice them up yourself. But yeah, see now the now it's all calmed down. Actually probably turn the heat up a little bit just so the actual mixture gets nice and hot. I mean, add, add as much as you want according to your liking. You don't have to add like so much. I mean, this is just your choice, pretty much. So any sauces you want, it's your choice. 
Alright, so we've got this now all good. As you can see, it's bubbling, meaning it's pretty much ready, all the oxygen wants to escape. So now it's time to serve up. So we've got plate number one. It's a lovely blue and yellow plate. Let's just get some meatballs there, like so. Now I'm not gonna be like those cooking channels who wanna make it look all nice. Because at the end of the day, food is about eating, not looking nice. The good thing with this is that it's just so easy to make. It doesn't take too much time and it's a good meal. This was the uh, the cooking. It's just home cooking, it's not look like it's a restaurant cooking. So if you really think that this is great, give it a try, post me pictures, and yeah, I shall feature it in the next cooking video. Anyway, my name is Jumble, and I'll see you people in the next video. See you later. <laughs>